We're Chris and Sarah, a husband and wife duo on a mission to experience as much in life as possible. Smelling colors. <laughs> this channel is dedicated to documenting our adventures that have turned into memories that will last a lifetime. We're inviting you to join us as we try new things, meet new friends, and see the world from a new point of view, one adventure at a time. Let's go. <laughs> we woke up really early to get the sunrise shot. You ready to head into town? Yeah, let's go. Founded in 1711, Buford is a small town located on one of South Carolina's many coastal sea islands. This quaint town is famous for its beautiful historic homes that line the streets and waterways leading to the Atlantic Ocean. The slow pace of living combined with its southern charm and proximity to the beautiful beaches makes it the perfect little getaway. Take a walk? Yeah. Well, why is it a yeah? <laughs> <laughs> is that a creepy? All right, fun fact. Before we bought our house in Chattanooga, we were looking in what, five or six different cities across America? Buford was one of them. In fact, we actually put an offer in on a home in Buford because we loved it so much. It's just a very pleasant town for a lot of reasons. We're not going to go into why we almost moved here, but um, we, we do really enjoy being here. So it's good to be back. <laughs> Buford's actually one of those towns where a lot of people are moving to and we and like Sarah mentioned before we were looking to move here as well it's just beautiful it's beautiful it's a little slower pace we almost bought a boat instead of our second van but it just wasn't the right season we know nothing about boating we don't even know what kind of boat we want we know a little bit of the options out there we know some routes that we may want to do but you know about boating would you please reach out because we know nothing like, yes I I love the idea of a sailboat but I've never sailed before so if you yeah. Well, anything about boats. I guess we'd love to hear your thoughts on options. We've talked about doing the Great Loop. We've talked about just hanging out along like the, like this area, the low country in Florida and the Gulf, maybe just kind of go around the Southern part. We may want to do a boat. So if you have a boat and you want to be like, hey. I'll teach you about boats. Yeah, if you want to teach us about boats, Kramer, can you say hi? Point Kramer. us in the direction of good resources, I guess. Whoop. Skirt. <laughs> Sarah, for the last few videos, Sarah's had a problem with her skirt flying up in the wind. So. <laughs> There's nobody around, thank goodness. When we were in Savannah, Savannah got a good show. I left with zero dignity. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> Do I embarrass you knowing my country music? Hey, not to offend anybody, but 
I'm not a huge fan of country music, but Sarah, Sarah loves it. I'll listen sometimes to something with banjos in it, but Sarah, like when she hears a country song, it's this, she starts like two-stepping and like, like clogging down the aisles. <laughs> She's just a different person. I didn't used to like country music. Something happened in college. I don't know. One day I was like, I like this. After our morning in Buford, we headed back to our campsite on Hunting Island. Hunting Island is located 17 miles east of Buford and is home to five miles of gorgeous beaches, wildlife, and even a lighthouse. All 5,000 acres of the island have been reserved as a South Carolina state park, giving it a semi-isolated and remote feel, perfect for a few days of relaxing. 1873. You okay? Bye. <laughs> I actually came to this lighthouse when I was really, really, really little. I was like six years old. I came here with my family. I do remember it though very well. <laughs> One thing, you do have to pace yourself. Right, Sarah? What? You have to pace yourself. Yes, you do. It's so near. We're halfway. Always trying to race me. Come on. Oh. Wow. How pretty. So we're camping just down there, further down the state park. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, buddy. Was he okay? So we're going to walk a little bit. Thank you. Was he okay for you? Hey, you know better. Hey, buddy. Was he okay for you? Yeah, he was, he was good. good. <laughs> okay. So, Kramer, dogs are not allowed inside the lighthouse, but we actually were here, I guess, at a quieter time, and the state park workers here, maybe they're volunteers. I think they're workers. They're so nice. They actually are like, we'll take Kramer for a walk. And so they just walked Kramer for 10 minutes while we went up in the lighthouse. <laughs> so nice. Otherwise, we would have had to go up one at a time. So, we're gonna go to the beach now. Kramer has been very patient. We're gonna go swim, play in the sand for a couple hours. That's what I need. It's getting warm out here. It's sticky. Come on, let's get lost in the moment. Are you free? Come on, believe. I believe, I believe in your magic motion. Chicken to pork on the fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for dinner. So on the way back to the campsite, we saw this Colombian food truck. Yeah, it's a, this Latin food truck. We uh, naturally we we're hungry and we want to eat something. So if you're on the way to Hunting Island and you see this, make sure you stop here. Parsley's place. I it's saying that wrong. It's right super here on the road. People. Yes, super sweet people. And I'm sure it's gonna be really good food. It smells good. Oh, it does smell good. We'll so, show you, don't worry. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's wrong with your shirt? It's inside out. <laughs> I'm at that beach sleepy. We've been in the sun all day, or not all day, we're only out there for an hour or two, but sleepy, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> we, got, we got two things. Well, their tacos come as five tacos. And so we got three chicken and two pork because we thought that sounded like a lot of food. And then we saw that they also had corn on the menu. So we got corn too. So we got tacos. Oh, man. And corn. Please 
We look like we spend all day at the beach, don't we? Yeah. I, we weren't out there all day. No, but it feels good. I don't know Tired. if you've... I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we look zapped. We are zapped. It's only because we had a good day. We had tacos, which were really good. And the corn. The corn was my favorite part, actually. Yeah, the corn is really good. So if you're in this area, please stop by. They, uh... I don't know their names, but they are really sweet people. Yeah, really sweet. And if you ever get a chance to come to Buford or this low country area, um, Hunting Island or the surrounding areas, it is just, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's the perfect place to come and relax to me. Like there's nothing that's crazy. Like you gotta see this. It's just everything about it is beautiful and just slow paced and relaxed and quaint. I love it. It's, I mean, we've been to 49 of the 50 states and it still remains one of my favorite regions. Yeah. And the people here are just top notch. The sun is going down. We're zapped from the beach. So we're just going to call it quits right now. Finish this little walk and then I think I'm going to bed soon. As soon as it gets dark, I can justify bedtime. It's like oh, 7.30. Oh my gosh. Let's go. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Let me make something beautiful A thing that reminds us there's good in the world Be sure to follow along on Instagram and like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.